I've had a lot of conversations lately on data stewardship and in particular on what a data steward is. There are different opinions shared on what the responsibilities of the data steward should be. And I think this creates a bit of a confusion. DEMA specifies that a data steward is a person or a group of persons that represent the interests of all stakeholders and must take an enterprise perspective to ensure enterprise data is of high quality and can be used effectively. Let me say it again. A data steward is a person or group of persons that represent the interests of all stakeholders and must take an enterprise perspective to ensure enterprise data is of high quality and can be used effectively. Okay, I get that, but what does that mean? What is a data steward after all? In this video, we'll answer the question of what is a data steward and really understand it because that's what I like to do in my videos and online courses, you know, explain things in a simple but comprehensive fashion. I'll start the explanation through a comparison. Let's step into a really cool museum for this one. Now, within the museum, there are different galleries. Usually, each gallery has a different theme. Maybe we have one with uh, Renaissance style paintings, another one with pop culture art, Impressionism, and one with, uh, let's say, Egyptian antiquities. Within such a museum, you might have one or multiple art gallery curators. Let's say at least one curator per gallery. And we have these art gallery curators to ensure that the art pieces that are presented and displayed are ready for consumption. So these art gallery curators are subject matter experts within the themes of those galleries and they ensure these art pieces are ready to be viewed and enjoyed by the visitors of the museum. What's the comparison there with the data steward? Well, the data steward is also a subject matter expert within their own data domain and have a thorough understanding of a particular data set. Okay, I got interrupted by this little guy here, Rasta, the famous cat. He's meant to be a data steward. You know, he's so involved in everything and especially his food. He's definitely an expert when it comes to cat food. He's a connoisseur and he enjoys everything. Okay, buddy, I gotta go back to my video now. <sighs> Let's explore this art gallery analogy some more, see what the art gallery curators do and how this relates to data and data stewards. Let's step into one of the art galleries. What do we notice? Well, everything is laid out in an optimal place to be enjoyed by the visitors. But what does each art piece come with? What do you remember from when you last looked at an art piece in a museum or an art gallery? Usually these art pieces, these paintings have this plaque where we can read all about the name of the painting, the artist, the years associated with the painting, and even the artist, the style, the medium, the type of art that we're seeing, and sometimes even a description or history of that art piece. Like so. Well, all of this is metadata that the art gallery curators are helping to put together. And data stewards, on the other hand, they are in charge in creating and managing the metadata for the data set they are responsible for. Now, besides putting together this plaque, our gallery curators might also do a few other things behind the scenes, such as before these art pieces go out, the art gallery curators ensure their quality. Now, are they in a state that they can be displayed? Or is there some sort of restoration work that needs to be done? I think you're already seeing where I'm getting to here with the comparison to data stewards. Is data stewards also ensure the quality of their data. Our gallery curators might also bring in the context to inform you know, what frame would be best for a painting, if it needs to be secured behind maybe a glass pane, and offer their expertise in how the art piece should be set in the context of the art gallery so that it's optimized for consumption. I think you're already starting to see where I'm getting at here with the comparison between art gallery curators and data stewards, but let's look at all the details. These art galleries are kind of like the data domains in an organization. If you don't know what a data domain is, check out my video on the topic. But in short, a data domain is a logical grouping of terms of interest 
to the organization. So things like customer, product, vendor, location, etc. And for each one of these data domains, you have at least one data steward. Sometimes they can even overlap. So you might have the same data steward assigned to more than one data domain. But why do we have and need data stewards? Because they are subject matter experts with a thorough understanding of a particular data set. As such, they usually have five main roles. First, ensure the quality of the data. And they do that through data profiling, data cleansing, root cause analysis, monitoring and auditing data quarterly rules, and so forth and so on. Second, they create and manage metadata. They are usually the ones maintaining the business glossary. So they might add in new business terms, review submissions, and overall just offer their expertise to ensure that the definitions are clear, understood, and concise. Similarly, they might even help maintain the data catalog and to some degree, the data dictionary. What else do they do? Well, they help to enforce operational data governance activities. So data related rules, policies, standards, definitions, processes, they really make sure that these are followed and used accordingly. A data steward also contributes to their creation and documentation of the data rules and standards by accessing their own business knowledge, but also by collecting the feedback from their own area, from the stakeholders of their own area. And lastly, they monitor the usage of data and help identify ways to use this data to drive enterprise objectives. Now, let me make this clear. These activities that I've listed, they can differ from company to company. It also depends on how mature the data governance program is. Now, before we step into the benefits, if you've liked my explanation so far, please hit the like button and subscribe as it would really, really help me out. Thank you. What are the benefits of data stewardship and having data stewards? Just to name a few, improve data quality, document and metadata, having a bridge between business and data, and the data stewards are definitely that bridge more efficient and effective data analytics and anything really, any data project, any data program, improved compliance with data related regulations and reduced risks around data. With all of this in mind, what skills should a data steward possess? I do cover all of this in detail in another video that I encourage you to watch, but in short, they need to have that business know-how. That's the first thing that's very important because remember that a data steward is that subject matter expert in their business area with a thorough understanding of a particular data set and as part of their data domain. They also need to have a bit of a technical skill set and analysis skill set as well as interpersonal skills. This is highly important as they will need to work with, interact with and communicate with a lot of different stakeholders. So to recap, a company has several data domains, and for each one, they have one or multiple data stewards assigned who are basically subject matter experts in their own business area with a thorough understanding of a particular data set. And depending on the company and the maturity of the data governance program, the data steward could have at least one of these five roles. Now that you have a better understanding of what a data steward is, Check out my online courses on lightsondata.com and enhance your knowledge and skill set even further. See you in the next video. Thank you for watching.